Now I have only three memory modules here installed. I uh, noticed that this, the computer is still plugged in. I didn't actually unplug anything yet. So I want to add the fourth module. There are two pairs of dual channel RAM that I bought separately. Processor controller. Previously I removed this one because I believed it was uh, faulty so I marked it with a red uh, permanent ink but now I'm willing to try again to use it I was thinking maybe it's just overheating okay. this is one of the modules, if you notice, the PCB has a different color because they're from uh, different uh, batches. I, I bought them at different times, but they still work together. Now I have two green work, green ones working with one black, and they work flawlessly. There's no problem. Another one, one of the black ones. And another green one. Okay, this spins and it's pushing air downwards there. That's good. And now we get the bad memory messages. Try to remove. This is the, the bad one. Let's see if it works now. And it works. And I will just put this one now. Okay, let's try again. Same memory module, different slot on the motherboard.
that finished. I will just put everything back as it was. That uh, memory probably failed because of overheating. Now I have to change the settings for the processor. Increase the speed again. I had it at 3.8 GHz. I had the processor at 3.8 GHz. But now everything should be reset after all so many times. Changing it. It booted. So, yeah, all the settings are stock. Prime ninety five running in blend test mode for four threads the CPU shows to be a bit hot but the fan of the main cooler is not um, increasing its speed so I'm just gonna run it for for a while. These are the settings of the processor. Now it's running at 3.8 gigahertz with three sticks of RAM. It's about 960 megahertz, I believe, the RAM. I will just do a burning test. show you the end result this is the Xeon X5460 it's been running for almost one hour and no errors so far and actually this is where it stops I'm just going to use it as it is because for me one hour is more than enough for a test. <coughs> Started at 1934. Now 834. 20, 24. 15 minutes was running the test. Everything green, everything passed. So I'm just going to use it as it is. And those are the settings. If you want to try, I was thinking of trying to go higher at 4 GHz, but I think that's pushing it. Uh, for me, 3.8 is enough. If later I need more, I can always try to do that. 